Hi guys and welcome back to one of my videos. This time the model that I would like to present you is uh, something different. As you probably know I'm currently building a series of uh, power boat uh, uh, used in Italy uh, for competition and international records and uh, they are all in 143 scale and um, they are uh, all completely scratch build models very few stuff exist in this scale about these models and uh, uh, it's sad because it's a very interesting category that uh, no major producer uh, ever considered you know they are exactly like race cars and uh, the race is very very nice and the power involved is uh, absolutely incredible so the build up of uh, this video it is the Timosi U1 this was a prototype made in 1954 and committed by Count Castoldi, the, the owner of the, 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 the basically it was the, the same producer of the Airmaki MC202 and 205 during the Second World War. And uh, this model, it is his powerboat that he tried to uh, use in 1954 in, in, in the attempt to beat the world record of speed. Uh, already at the time the numbers were impressive because this boat was uh, supposed to be able to do two passages back and forward at over 260 km per hour but sadly uh, something went wrong and part of the uh, uh, transmission that uh, was from the, from the engine of the boat uh, to the propeller uh, went broken inside and get and hurt the, the driver uh, uh, Mr. Castoldi in the legs <coughs> and the attempt was uh, was failed, you know, and so it, uh, the, the record could not be uh, done with this boat. After that, the boat uh, never raced because it was not belonging to any power boat category, and uh, it had been dismissed and gifted to the Museo della Scienza e della Tecnica in Milano City. Currently, I don't know if they still own the boat or if it had been uh, scrapped, I don't know. I try to keep in touch with the museum, but... Uh, <coughs> sorry but um, probably for a uh, uh, covid-19 uh, situation down in Italy uh, nobody gave me an answer so I, I went on and produced by my own the the model of this power boat everything starts you know from uh, the build up of this model usually is extremely complicated despite the final shape could be simple you know this is something that if made by a company in plastic would be something like a uh, let me guess, 20 to 50 pieces, not more, you know, because it's quite simple parts, you know, they look uh, they look simple. The problem is that when you have to scratch build them completely from nothing, it is absolutely not easy at all and the work is extremely complicated. First of all, you have to uh, obtain your measure, as I did here. And uh, the measure that I took was this one. This is a drawing in 143 scale that I obtained and used uh, from a picture, of course, of one of the pictures that you can find online of this vehicle, of this uh, power boat. And uh, I used the human figure, uh, giving a standard uh, uh, proportion of the figure, and knowing that the entire boat was long 9 meters in the reality, so reduced in 143 scale, <coughs> they became 21 centimeters uh, in, in length, you know. And all the rest of the measure you can obtain studying extremely carefully the photo. To arrive to this draw is extremely complicated, at least for me, because you know it's extremely important to have something that reminds in the dimension and what we are preparing the real final items. You know, every time you have to, uh, every line have to be uh, checked over a picture to see if you are going on the right direction or not. You know, so this was the the, the first work to obtain the drawing of this power boat. It doesn't exist anything at today in documentation. This was made by Cantiere Timos in Como, that is a famous and well-known uh, uh, constructor of power boats still at today. But about this boat, uh, this particular boat, there was no documentation, there was no how to cut, it was something that was probably drawn in the reality, exactly as I did for the, for, for the model, you know. The model himself is this one, this is a three point power boat you see so if you see the lower hull it is in three point one two and three they call it this disposition that is typical for the modern power boat uh, a three point uh, hydroplanes and uh, 
um, was extremely complicated to give the proper shape to the holes you know if you study the picture they finish to zero and they arrive to this point that is uh, uh, I don't know the technical name of the producer of the hose, but uh, you clearly see that compared to the picture, it is it should be absolutely extremely looking like what you can see around, you know. And uh, the engine itself, it is uh, inside there should be an engine. I didn't make the, the 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 exposition of the engine because otherwise you should recreate the entire frame. And the, this is uh, been a committed work, you know. They are very very hard to do and uh, also you should remain in a realistic price range you know it became too big uh, uh, would be very very hard to sell them because otherwise it is a, a full detail scratch build so it is not in a realistic way of uh, of uh, of, uh, of prices to, to to commit a work like this you know so at the end i just reproduced the exhaust taking them from uh, a german plane of the second world war they are very nice because they are casted in resin with photo etched parts and you will see the exhaust very very well detailed with the typical rectangular shape and uh, as well as the cockpit you know the cockpit was uh, typical also there there is uh, some picture about uh, this was basically a steering wheel similar to a car one uh, that was commanding of course the rudder in the tail and all the rudder is made with a combination of uh, leftover of photo etched parts in the able in the way to provide a overall similar look to the part that you can see in the picture unfortunately there is not a clear picture of the entire boat outside of the water and you know i didn't have the possibility uh, because of the virus uh, uh, spread around europe to go and visit uh, the, the the museo della scienza della tecnica to check if they still have something about this boat that will be absolutely uh, the, the best way to 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 reproduce it you know with the picture of the of the actual stuff i could not do it so this was the the the, the only compromise that i had with the production of this uh, of this uh, uh, power boat uh, the other part is uh, a kind of support you know that i want to also this trying to copy what they use on the actual power boats and uh, i wanted to make it in this way to catch the overall look of the object you know and i think it is taken also the typical colors you know this was uh, satin aluminium with uh, semi-gloss red you know paintings in uh, 1954 over a power boat could not be at the same level of a modern painting with the modern uh, technologies to 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 paint uh, boats and ships you know so it was absolutely something like this and then the, the boat was entirely made in aluminium no wood was involved in this uh, power boat so that's it. This is the ultra rare and probably unique in the world Timosi U1 uh, Alfa Romeo prototype racer in 143 scale. And uh, very soon it will be delivered to the owner, you know. And sadly, I could not make any footage and documentation about the two previous ones that I did. It was for another guy making the same collection, you know. It was um, a small series with uh, two races. One was the nicknamed Mariella. Was, uh, from the 30s and the other one a Janka 2 that was the same one already another both from the from the from the 30s you know quite different in the old they are interesting because you really see the evolution of the old when it is involved about uh, when it is about power boats and stuff that is extremely powerful in the in the, in the sea in the sea and in the lake because mostly this is stuff that races in uh, uh, Como Lake and Garda Lake mostly you know even if this one have been used mostly in um, Iseo Lake because it was the uh, probably the, the the only field where they can test this uh, this uh, record this failed record unfortunately well that's it hope you like it I want to keep this footage because it's the only stuff that I have together with the picture of my build up that you can find in my Facebook page uh, of this particular uh, boat and uh, hope you like it and see you in the next video.